one of the most common species of rattlesnakes in the dry, desert-like terrain of Arizona is the speckled rattlesnake. And they're quite a handful. They're a volatile little snake with an exceptionally fast strike range. This is a good size. They get up to about a metre. You're all right, mate. And they're pretty quick for a rattler. Most often found early in the mornings. You will get them at night, too. He's got a great rattle. You gonna rattle, buddy? Stay there. Hey, 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 stay there. Notice he's not striking at me. He just wants to get away. You're all right, mate. You're all right. Oh, isn't he a little beauty? Now, you can see he's got those very distinct bands across his body. They've got a very thick body with a, with a distinct neck going down to a smaller head. Very robust snake. And at three feet, he'd pack quite a wallop. If you can imagine, they're highly toxic, very similar to the more common Mojave rattlers. Just settle down a minute, mate. You know, he will bite and he will envenomate. Whoop, now he's got his pits focused straight on me. Probably using these burrows and the wash, this rockiness to camouflage himself. You can see how he blends into the environment really well. And they can move pretty quick. As quick as any rattler. There he goes, now he's settled down. And it's because I've got out in front of him and he knows he can't escape. Beautiful animal, best left alone. If you can hear them, go round them and they won't strike out. They're relatively non-aggressive. A great find, really good find. I might just put him back where he lives. It's over in these bushes. It's best that I put him right back in his home because that's probably his territory. Come on, buddy. Come on now. Yeah, I can see you're grumpy. Listen to that rattle. You're a funny snake. Come on now. Come on, buddy. Come on then, here we go. There's a good snake. There's a good snake. Look at that. Sensational looking animal. Big, tough jaw muscles. Look how chubby his tummy is. He's in exceptional condition. Very fat. And you can see the way of just delicately got him by the tail and supporting his body weight. You shouldn't pick rattlers up really heavy handed because they will hurt. They're all vertebrae. And of course, being such a heavy, robust snake, you could do them damage, particularly spinal damage. Here's his bush. Come on then, mate. Is that your bush there? There's his little bush. There's his bush. You're a good snake. Where you going? Wow. What a champion. Check this out. The tiger rattlesnake lives exclusively in the Sonoran Desert. It loves the big saguaro cactus and rocky outcrops. I've always been one for looking for the odd snake in the grass. And here's what I'm looking for. Cain! Break. Hey, this is the perfect example of hearing them before you see them. Fancy this, a snake with audio. I had no idea it was sitting here in this long grass, really well camouflaged, but his little tail's giving him away. <sighs> Must have felt the vibrations as my footsteps as I start coming up. Now this is a cane brake. The cane brake is a subspecies of the timber rattler. And they're a wild looking animal. And have a look at the rattle on it. Magnificent looking rattle. It's pretty cool. It's sitting in a patch of sun. It's like a mosaic pattern coming through the trees. Here in the southeast, there are areas, locations where they're quite common. Although some states they're um, they're not common at all. Can you get me a stick, sweetheart? Yep. They make me a little nervous. The timber rattlers are pretty hard hitters. Now the cane break, what a wild name. I'm gonna need a heftier stick than that, mate. Alrighty. He's watching Terry. Oh, here we go. A little bit grumpy. You're all right. You're all right. Here we go. There we are. Have a look at this. 
What a beauty. Real dark coloration for a cane brake. The color varies quite a lot. Fat and healthy. Very fat and healthy. Probably been eating a good feed of rodents. Well, it's getting a bead on my hand there. Helps them to pick up heat quickly. Magnificent rattle. Have a look at the rattle on it. That is a really beaut rattle. Good and long. It's obviously had a very easy life, this cane brake. He was just curled up there in that patch of sun. They're a magnificent animal. Really nice. You have a good day. Steve really looks cool here. Here's a little black racer. Now these guys are on the move at the moment. Oh. Oh. Now said he bit me on the lip. Little devil. Oh, gosh, they're bitey little. Just as well they're non-venomous. These guys are major pre no biting on the face. These guys are major predators of baby rattlesnakes. <laughs> He's really aggressive. Hey, hey, hey. I'll let him go before he takes me out. Might get me by the throat and kill me. Here you go, mate. Rattlesnakes are at the pinnacle of reptilian evolution. They are so highly evolved that they've even got a rattle which lets predators know that they're there. <laughs> highly evolved. They're a wild little unit too, by crikey. <laughs> Imagine having a rattle, even though they've got no ears. This has been a great adventure, and I've learned that rattlesnakes are really misunderstood. They're not that bad at all. So will you see you next time here or over there at the Crockwell?